PGA Championship organizers, they are telling visitors to plan accordingly for extra travel time. The area around the Valhalla Golf Club continues to be a popular place to live, and it's become more congested over the years. Residents tell Wave News reporter David Mattingly they're bracing for a lot more traffic. 200,000 people are expected to visit Valhalla for the PGA Championship next week, and word is out to plan ahead for traveling in the area. At noon on Friday, bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic on Shelbyville Road already has cars backed up nearly a mile, and the PGA crowds aren't even here yet. Living in the area for 25 years, Sheila Huff has seen tournaments before, but this one, she says, feels bigger. They've had a lot of signage out. They put out a lot of information on HOA about what, you know, about the road closing, the roads changing, and places to, you know, so that we know it's going to be a lot of traffic. A week from now, trying to have a neighborhood garage sale like this might be pointless. Picking up the grandkids at school next week could become a chore. It's busy anyways. It takes about 45 minutes to pick them up. You have to stay in line. It's, it's just kind of weird. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen with all the PGA traffic on top of that? Oh, I don't know. It's not going to be good. It's a hopping place in here today. Yeah, it's the final final countdown. We've got a few days left for the gates open. At Valhalla, we find the course buzzing with activity. Workers pounding stakes and climbing scaffolding. PGAChampionship.com has published the 2024 Spectator Guide with plans for parking cars at the Kentucky Expo Center and then busing a majority of the 200,000 visitors to Valhalla. But traffic is still expected to require patience. We're making adjustments to lanes, to speed limits, to ensure safety, and we make it as efficient as possible, not only for our guests, but for the residents. It will be LNPD's job to keep things moving smoothly on the roads around Valhalla. They're planning a press conference on Tuesday. David Mattingly, Wave News.